Hello everyone, this is Pausha Pasha Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. There are several things we need to do today. First, we need to make this part of the jig stronger. I need to top stitch these parts by hands. When the collar is ready, I remove the taken from it and move on to working with the sleeves. I will show you how to attach the lining to the seams. After that, I will show you what to do with the bottom. When I do it all, I'll ask one of the tailors of my fashion house to attach the fasteners and iron the jacket. Next time I'll show you a review of a finished item. I want to show you how this jacket looks like together with the circle dress. I remind you that this is what the jacket was made for. These are the shoulder seams. I need to attach these seams to each other on the wrong side, so that it's impossible to do so. I need to pin the details to do it. You can tag them if you want. I'll show you what you should pay attention to. You can attach a tab here if you want. I'm not going to do it, because I will keep this jacket on a coat hanger. You can make a tab of binding. I pin the details. Have a look here. The seams will still be soft after stitching because I pressed this seam open. The lining in its turn was pressed close. Have a look here. As I've already said, the lining was pressed close, and this seam was pressed open. This is why the seams are not thick, and they are very soft. I remind you that I cut all the extra pieces of the seams right after stitching them. Do not forget to do it. This is very important. I'll show you what to do. This is the first angle. I remind you that the details are pinned. Watch what I'm doing. I'm sewing the seams to each other by hands. Make stitches as close to the seams as possible. So from one angle to the other, from one shoulder to the other. What I'm doing now is very important. By doing so, I prevent the collar stand from being too soft and from deforming. Next, I'll turn the jacket right side out to show you how it looks like now. I attach the two seams to each other. The collar stand is much stronger now. It's very beautiful. Have a look here. This is the shoulder seam, so I need to insert a pin here. This is where the seam ends. I also inserted a pin here. That means that this is the part which should also be stitched by hands. The technique I'm going to show you now is very useful. Be very attentive. I need to start sewing here, but I don't want it not to be seen on the right side. This is why I'll make the first stitch from the wrong side.
Watch what I'm doing. You kinda need to sew backwards. Make sure that you don't piece through the seam. Make tiny stitches, making sure that there's nothing on the other side. The stitches should be tiny. Make tiny stitches, making sure that there's nothing on the other side. This is a very useful technique. I'm making the color stronger by making tiny backward stitches. This technique used to be very popular. When I was learning to sew, we were taught this technique together with the basic ones. This type of seams is often used when sewing different coats. As I've already said, the technique is very useful. Remember that practice makes perfect. Don't be afraid of using the techniques I show you. You may think that it takes too long to take the jacket, but actually it doesn't. If you don't do it, the edges will be too soft. Notice that there is nothing on the other side. There is no need to make the seam in the parts which were top stitched on the sewing machine. Anyway, it's impossible to top stitch the collar which turns into the collar stand. Make sure that the color of the thread matches the color of the jacket perfectly. These tiny stitches won't even be seen after ironing. Even if they will, it will just make the jacket look more expensive. Hand work isn't cheap. Watch what I'm doing. Notice that I control the process with my fingers. When I remove the taken, I'll show you how the collar looks like now. The collar hasn't even been ironed yet. When I iron it, the seams won't even be visible. There is nothing on the other side. Let's continue working. There are only tiny dots here. You can't even see the stitches. I need to sew the whole collar this way. What is very important is that even though you shouldn't pierce the seams through, you need to make sure that you stitch the two layers together. I'm showing you everything so thoroughly because this technique is very important. I'm showing you what you should pay your attention to. Notice that I control the process with my finger. When I pierce the seam with a needle, I make sure that the needle stays inside the seam. What is also very important is that you shouldn't stretch the fabric when making a seam. Notice that I've almost reached the pin. What should I do now? I want to remind you that I was making a seam on the wrong side of the collar. The thing is that the wrong side of the collar is the right side of the collar stand. That means that I need to pierce the needle through the seam and start stitching the other side further from this pin. Watch what I'm doing. The technique is absolutely the same. I need to stitch this side until I reach the other pin, which indicates the shoulder seam. When I do it, I need to move back to the other side.
Do not forget to do it. Be very attentive. It's not as hard as it seems. It doesn't take long to sew the collar this way. The result is worth it all. It's a pleasure to wear a coat knowing that it's of a very high quality. And it's made by you. Such details and techniques are very important. Have a look at the collar. First I was stitching the wrong side of the collar, then I moved to the wrong side of the collar stud, and then back to the wrong side of the collar. The collar is ready. It's top stitched. I just need to iron the seams and go over it with a cloth brush. What I also want to tell you is that when making white clothes, you need to wash the table you're working on every day, or even twice a day, or even better several times a day. The fabric should still be white when you finish working with it. You may think that your table is clean, but it's actually not. Be very attentive. This is how the jacket looks like now from the right side. I remind you that this is a jacket with a collar stand, which turns into a collar. This is how the jacket looks like from the wrong side. Next, I'll show you what to do with the sleeves. Notice that the collar is strong, but at the same time soft. Let's have a look at the sleeves. Unfold the facing and put your arm inside the sleeve to make sure that these seams match in the lining and the main fabric. I need to match the seams this way and make a notch here in order to know where to attach lining. I need to pin this point. When I do it, I need to take the lining out of the sleeve. Notice that the seams match. This is what you should do. Next, I need to stitch the lining to the sleeve. The width of the seam is 1 cm. Don't worry. If these two points match, then everything is accurate. They wouldn't if there was a mistake here. Don't hurry. Work slowly and make sure that the details match. Please be very attentive. Have a look here. The seams match in the lining and the facing. That means that everything is absolutely right. I'll stop here and continue stitching from the other side. I could stitch it this way, but I want you to see everything clearly. This is how the stitched part looks like from the right side. Have a look here. I need to turn the sleeve wrong side out. This is the part which should be stitched. I'll do it absolutely the same way.
I'm stitching the lining of the sleeve to the facing. Next, I need to pin the face into the sleeve. I need to attach the face into the sleeve for the fabric not to move. I'll turn the sleeves wrong side out to do it. I show you the most simple techniques. Now you know that it's not hard to make such amazing jackets. I pin the sleeve. And next I need to turn the sleeve wrong side out and sew the face into the sleeve by hand. Try not to pierce the seam through. I don't want the seam to be seen on the right side. What I'm doing now is actually very important. Have a look here. The face is attached to the sleeve. The sleeve is much more comfortable now. Very beautiful. Notice that there are no marks of the seam on the right side. Perfect. This technique is also very useful. I'll do the same thing with the second sleeve off the camera. We are stitching the bottom of the jacket. Natalie is helping me. We need to stitch the bottom this way and make a small hole in the sleeve to turn the jacket right side out. After that, we need to top stitch the bottom. The last thing to do is to attach the fasteners to the front. We'll do it off the camera. I've already showed you all of these techniques. I will also attach these details to each other, just like I did in the color stand. We are making a jacket of a very high quality. Next time we'll show you a review of a finished item. The jacket is ready. We top stitch the bottom using the same technique we used for the collar and the collar stand. Absolutely perfect. The jacket is ready. The sleeves are perfect. Next time I'll try the jacket on together with the circle dress. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. My name is Pauk Shtirina. Subscribe to my channel, write comments, share videos, press the like and the bell buttons. I really need your support. Thank you. Goodbye.